place is like a maze, but I've come here so many times that I've hopefully figured it out. You've cracked the maze. Hopefully. <laughs> That's the word. Today we're visiting Corail, the largest slum in Dhaka and home to at least 40,000 people, many who work as rickshaw pullers or garment factory workers. Despite the obvious poverty in Corail, it has such a colourful and vibrant atmosphere and there's a sense of real community spirit. Our newest Bangladeshi project leaders, Shah and Sharnella, are showing us three schools within the slum where they've installed high-tech water filtration systems. Oh, wow, fantastic. They told us that in Dhaka City there are six million people living without clean water. By setting up their water systems in the schools here, they provide a central place where the whole community can access clean water for drinking and cooking. Hi, thank you. Lovely to meet you. Thank you for having us at your beautiful school. Hi. Five, six, six rooms over here. Before Sharon Chanel's water filters, these kids used to drink straight from the tap. Many children often had to miss classes due to water-based diseases such as diarrhea and dysentery. You have very good English. I'm very impressed. Next time we come, we'll speak some English with you. These are all the contaminants that get stuck. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's so once that one's gone, then you move on to the next one. Yeah. I know. They work in two steps. So one step is clean water, and then the second step is clean so this one mainly the sediments, these two mainly the chemicals, and this one the bacteria. I see. So this, this is the water that they drink. Oh wow! Are you serious? They literally drink that. That is brown. And the person who handed wow. me this bottle, he was he was asking me to check if it's pure or not. So they haven't even seen. Oh my god! Setting up a system is not just providing access to clean drinking water. Once the people are actually trained to how to maintain the systems, they can actually get jobs that require to them to be technicians for other neighborhood areas as well. They yeah. can be like water technicians or like water transporters. They can transport that water to other villages and then sell the water to get money as well to sustain their own village as well. So it, yeah. it can actually boost their economy if you set up a system and train them properly on how to use it. That's good water. That is, <laughs> that is some really good water. Well done team. <laughs>